we're in a client's tax return and if you'll notice the refund at the top of the screen the calculated amount of this refund is assuming that the client qualified for the earned income credit let's take a look at page 2 of the 1040 I'm going to scroll down and we see that the program has calculated two thousand forty one dollars in earned income credit for this client at this point we haven't filled out the 8867 EIC due diligence form so where is this form located when do we complete it well as you can see by this screen we're at the calculation summary section we've already completed the basic information the federal section health insurance and so forth our client still qualifies for EIC until we answer the due diligence questions if we answer the questions correctly the EIC stays if one of the answers disqualifies our client the EIC will not be calculated on the return so we can click continue the program will take me to the EIC checklist and for purposes of this demonstration I'm going to answer the question so that my client will receive their earned income credit was the taxpayer spouse a non-resident alien for any part of the year no is the taxpayer spouse a qualifying child of another person no did you complete the return based on information for tax year 2016 provided by the taxpayer or reasonably obtained by you yes did you interview the taxpayer ask adequate questions and document the taxpayers responses to determine that the taxpayer is eligible to claim the credit yes did you review adequate information to determine that the taxpayer is eligible to claim the credit and in what amount yes we did did any information provided by the taxpayer a third party or reasonably known to you in connection with preparing the return appear to be incorrect now you want to be careful with this one we've been answering yes all the way through this one we want to answer no did you satisfy the record retention requirement in other words to meet the record retention requirement did you keep a copy of any documents provided by the taxpayer that you relied on to determine eligibility or to compute the amount for the credit yes we did in addition to your notes from the interview list those documents that you relied on uh, we'll say a 1099 miscellaneous to prove business income did you ask the taxpayer whether he or she could provide documentation to substantiate eligibility for and the amount of the credit claimed on the return yes we did did you ask the taxpayer if any credits were disallowed or reduced in a prior year yes we did were any of these credits disallowed again you need to be careful with this question we want to answer this one no we have a qualifying child on the return Elizabeth is this child currently or intended to be a qualifying child on any other individuals tax return no did you explain to the taxpayer the rules about claiming the IC when a child is a qualifying child of more than one person yes we did did you explain to the taxpayer that he or she may not claim the EIC if the taxpayer has not lived with the child for over half the year yes we did now we move down this child is eligible for child tax credit as well does the child reside with the taxpayer is claiming the child tax credit yes have you determined that the taxpayer has not released the claim to another person yes do you certify that all answers on this 8867 are to the best of your knowledge true correct and complete yes we do and then I'm told that I've complied with all the due diligence requirements I'm going to click continue the program is determining eligibility and it appears that everything is correct except I need to go in and add some EIC due diligence notes I'll give the notes a title and we'll just say that we interviewed the client extensively of course your notes are going to be more detailed than what I'm typing in here I'm going to click continue 
and I'll click continue again. I'm back at the calculation summary screen and we can see where the EIC was maintained for our client. We can take a quick check, look at page 2, and once again on line 66A there's my client's earned income credit. Now before we go, let's take a scenario where most everything's matching up and we think that this individual, this taxpayer, should qualify for EIC but for some reason he or she is not qualifying. Now what I'm going to do is add some investment income to the return. The EIC will drop off and then I'm going to show you where the program will tell you why this individual doesn't qualify for EIC. Be back in just a moment. I'm going to add some investment income to the return. So now I'm back at the calculation summary and we notice that the refund isn't looking right or it's not what it was a few moments ago. So in the calculation summary what is the screen telling us here? Reasons for no earned income credit. Why no EIC basically? The investment income is greater than $3,400. What I did, I entered $7,500 in rental income on her investment property thus disqualifying her from EIC. So if your client has $3,400 earnings in stock transactions or investments of any kind then there's no EIC available. So please check this. If there's an age validation issue or if the client earned too much money all of that will appear here and give you an explanation as to why no EIC was calculated on the return. So hopefully all of this made sense. We appreciate the opportunity to demonstrate this part of the program for you. And if you have any questions, please feel free to give us a shout. Thanks for watching.